Your flashy special effects have no impact on me. Disclaimer, this video serves as a criticism, and as such, is under the protection of fair use. Considering Undoom's popularity and the aggressiveness of his fan base, I know I'm about to enter a losing fight. So the very least I can do is point out how he operates, that way you, the viewers at home, can think a bit more critically about who you're subscribed to. Undoomed has become one of the most prominent voices of the anti-feminist community. Unfortunately, he became this way by choosing to treat the person he's responding to based on the label that person he identifies with rather than the actions of that individual person. Most of the time, he does this to teenage girls and young women calmly talking to a camera just trying to explain themselves. This means if an anti-feminist like Undoomed makes a video response and has his fanboys go to town on her, the young woman in question will be too weak to defend herself. Even if the woman is having a hard time speaking or sounds like she is on the verge of crying, he'll still go after her. Feminism isn't women about the men at all. Well, you can say that all you want, but that doesn't change the fact that that is exactly what the movement is all about. Undoom's Logic 101 A person identifies as something that I hate, yet they don't seem like a threat to me. I'm going to throw middle school insults at them, and then have my Legion of the Undoomed pretty much parrot everything I say, forcing them to either privatize or delete their videos, and maybe even their entire channel to remind them that, in the real world, life isn't a safe zone. Despite the fact that I'm hiding behind the safe zone of a Slender Man avatar. Don't believe me? Allow me to introduce you to Case in Point, where a feminist actually provides a valid solution to fix the problems men have to face, and watches Undoomed completely ignores her solutions, and decides to throw insults at her instead. Today we're talking about feminism. So what else is new? You're like a broken record, aren't you? I'd make a comment here regarding the hypocrisy he just displayed, but I think Kevin Logan said it best in his Descent of the Manosphere series, so I'll just play that instead. Yeah, he accuses other people of being like broken records, and yet virtually every video he ever makes is about either feminism or social justice. Now, I know those two things are different, but in his mind, they're basically interchangeable, so they're one fucking thing. So basically, he has the temerity to make most of his videos about one particular fucking topic, and then accuse other people of being like broken records. Hmm... Dickhead. So I am already preparing myself for the angry comments. So if you're fully aware that you're going to make something extremely stupid, then why do you do it? It's like Einstein's definition of insanity. Just keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Yeah, 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 I know Einstein didn't actually say that, but it's a good quote for this thing. Way to jump to conclusions. She just said she was expecting angry comments, but she just assumed it would be people disagreeing with her opinion. She didn't expect death threats or insults from hundreds upon thousands of your fanboys, pretty much parroting your every word. The number one argument used against feminism is that it only caters to the needs of women, and it doesn't care about men, and it doesn't want to be involved with the issues that men face. So instead of acknowledging that valid criticism, you're actually going to just double down on your obstinate denial. What are you talking about? She did just address the criticism. But the thing is, that is completely untrue, and feminism is, while helping women, also helping men. Oh, I see. So because it's helping women, it's helping men, because that's basically what men are there for, to help women. Congratulations. That wasn't even close to what she said. What you're doing is putting words into her mouth. She said that feminism exists to help both men and women, and you twisted what she said to mean that men only exist to help women? Because what you just implied by putting words into our mouth is sexist to both men and women, meaning you're not helping your case at all. By eradicating the gender roles against women, we eradicate the gender roles against men. <laughs> See what I mean? Jesus Christ. You have to do a little bit more than that to help men, you fucking retard. Hey, at least she's trying to look for a solution. If we fight to get rid of gender roles, then men might be able to talk about the problems in our lives. If we talk about the problems in our lives, then both A, the male suicide rate will go down, and B, there might be a higher chance of us finding solutions for our problems. But instead of choosing to listen to her like an adult, you instead decide to throw out middle school insults at her. What are you, 12? Oh wait, no, that was the boy you defended. As admirable as that was, 
If someone was bullying a 12-year-old girl who said the exact opposite of what that boy said, you probably wouldn't defend her. Hell, you'd probably be the bully insulting her. And I know this because you collaborated with the atheist gamer, who, once upon a time, made a video attacking an 11-year-old girl. I don't feel sorry. Okay, if, if this video makes you cry, then it's not my fault. When I say gender roles, I mean things like women are fragile, women are weak, women should be mothers. How in the hell did you get mothers mixed up in all of that? That is a biological fact, numbnuts. And for men, it's men are strong, men aren't vulnerable whatsoever, and men have to be dominant. So what if I like those roles? What then, huh? I guess I can't be part of your utopian Marxist matriarchy then. Once again, you took her out of context. She never actually said that men can't be strong or women can't be mothers. If they want to do that, then that's fine. What she is suggesting is that they don't have to fill those roles. He then proceeds to insult her for 30 seconds by treating her like a three-year-old who just finished potty training. Especially when he brings up statistics, it's safe for me to assume he found on Google Images, as there are no citations in the description, so let's just move on. Seeking out help and being weak and vulnerable is seen in society as something women do. No, you fucking moron. The reason men don't ask for help is that there is no help to be had. Every time men start a men's shelter or a forum to discuss men's problems, feminists will demonstrate outside until it's shut down. Ladies and gentlemen, undoom's only actual argument. Now let me explain to you why this argument fails. The reason why this argument falls flat on its face, Undoomed, is because you are basing this on one isolated incident. The feminists protesting the men's shelter until it got shut down are dangerous radicals who hate men. Trust me, I don't agree with every feminist out there, as the movement has a few bad messengers, as well as really horrible people who use the feminist message to fuel their misandry. The problem here is MRAs pretending to be gender egalitarians like to view these radicals who can be found in the media as a majority, when in reality it's only 5% of the movement. I'm not saying these people are not still a threat, but they're only a minority who seeks attention. Most feminists are actually disgusted by the actions of these radicals, and are actually all for the creation of domestic violence shelters for men. Even the teenage girl you're insulting in this very video is all for the creation of domestic violence shelters for men. And from a very young age, in a very, very subtle way, a lot of us are conditioned to think that being a woman is the second best, and being a man is the best. Wow, you must have had some terrible, terrible parents. In fact, it's almost always the opposite being true. Really? Because as far as I'm aware, I'm more likely to hear insult men by comparing us to women insults, rather than insult women by comparing them to men insults. Therefore, if we get rid of the belief that women are second class to men... There is no such belief, you dolt. I refer you to the answer I just gave. Men won't be scared to go and ask for help when they find themselves in situations like domestic violence. Oh, really? What else can you make true with your magical rainbow make-belief power? Undoomed, you do realize these changes won't come overnight. It will take time to work on the problems like these to be fixed, but at least she's willing to put in the effort to get her foot in the door. You, on the other hand, refused to even budge regarding her solutions. Moving on, let's see what Undoomed has to say regarding her solution to men trying to win custody of their children. The same goes for custody cases. A huge number of custody cases end up being in the favor of the mother rather than the father. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. The one thing that is going to help that is not feminism, though. This is because society sees women as more fit to look after children than men because we are mothers and that is our purpose. Oh really? How do you explain alimony then? If we get rid of this belief that women have to be mothers and that's their purpose and that's why they're so good at it... From where are you getting your information? You're just talking out of your ass, aren't you? Everything she just said has been valid. She addresses the root of the problem, that root being that women are expected to be mothers, 
And then she suggests that if we look past the stereotypes, then maybe fathers can have an equal opportunity to spend time with their children. Men are going to be more likely to win more custody cases because that subconscious belief that men are rubbish at childcare because women are good at it will be gone. Well, whoop de doo and la di da. Just because you said so, it's magically gone. What are you going to do for your second act? Make your head explode? I'm starting to get the theory that Undoomed doesn't want the solution she is suggesting to be implemented. As if they got implemented, then the problems would eventually disappear. If the problems that men face in society disappeared, then Undoomed wouldn't have the need to bitch about feminism on the internet. If he didn't have the need to bitch about feminism on the internet, then he doesn't get that Patreon money, which, let's be real here, is probably the only reason why Undoomed is doing this, as he doesn't actually care about the solutions to problems men face. He only brought those problems up earlier to shut her down and to collect a fat paycheck. Feminism does cater to the needs of women, and it caters to the needs of women more than it caters to the needs of men because women have more needs than men do in this oppressive society. Hey, moron! Fucking moron! By the way, that catchphrase of yours, still annoying as ever. If something is funny the first time, it gradually becomes less funny as time goes on. And since this is the 53rd video you've made where you've used that catchphrase, it's getting old. Especially since you still use it 86 videos in. There has never been a more privileged group than women in Western society, ever in the history of the planet. Keep in mind that she never actually specified where in the world this was happening. This could have been in the Middle East for all we know. But even if this was the West she's referring to, and while I do admit there are certain privileges that women have that men don't, privileges that this girl even admits in the original video and is trying to ensure men get as well, there are also privileges that men have that women don't. Being more likely to be believed by his friends and family if he was sexually assaulted, and being able to walk down the streets without fear of being catcalled, just to name a few. All the negative things that men are supposed to be, like strong and dominant and angry and violent. What do you mean negative? Those were two positives and two negatives. Once again, you deny men being compared to women as a bad thing. Because I had no idea terms like girly man, sissy, and pussy were meant to be terms of endearment. He then proceeds to take everything she says out of context and fling insults at her, pretty much questioning her intelligence. And he does this for about the next minute, so I'm just going to skip ahead to the next point he makes that I actually want to debunk. If we get rid of the shit that women have to go through, and the stupid stuff that people still believe about women... What the fuck are you talking about? What do people believe about women, and who are these people? All the stupid stuff that people believe about men will disappear as well, because they are directly linked to each other. Wow, you must live in some alternate reality where everyone just walks around believing stupid shit about each other. I do, however, believe that you have shit for brains. Summarize the point she was trying to make. If we get rid of the stereotypes brought on by gender roles, then there might be a chance to ensure that both men and women can get the help they need. But instead of listening to the solution she's trying to implement, you decide it's a better idea to just make fun of her. Seriously, did it take you five minutes to come up with shit for brains? I'm uh, just gonna play a short song to you that I wrote. No, oh, no, you're gonna bring out a ukulele, aren't you? Uh, just to chill everyone out, because that was quite an intense video. So, riddle me this. Is a ukulele some sort of standard equipment that you get issued as soon as you become a feminist? Hey, at least she's utilizing her talents, unlike you. Seriously, you have an awesome voice and incredible animations. You could be entertaining children with your work. But no. Instead, you decide to insult women calmly talking to a camera who aren't a threat to you, just expressing a belief that isn't yours, for a quick buck. I'm sorry, but your ukulele does not have the power to stop people from opposing feminism, asshole. You do realize that song she did at the end of the video was a joke, right? Mainly just to lighten up the mood. Now on iTunes, actually. That's on iTunes. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Anyway, I think that concludes our show for tonight. And just like that, the video ends. Undoomed, I loathe you. If I ever make a list 
of worst anti-feminists on YouTube, you'd be right at the top. Why do you ask? For starters, you take everything the person says out of context, fling middle school insults at them like moron, shit for brains, and retard, you're a complete hypocrite, and most of your targets are from relatively small channels that are too weak to defend themselves. Sadly, after Undoom's diatribe, and because of the negative response the Legion of the Undoomed left on our video, this girl's video is no longer on YouTube because of how scared she felt. Her channel is still up, but I don't feel comfortable linking it down below, as I'm trying to avoid more harassment from Undoom's fanboys being sent her way. Which is also why I never mentioned her name in this video once. So, if any of our friends or subscribers out there see this video, Please let her know that it exists, and that someone is watching out for her. Until next time, I'm Danny Quartz. Thank you all for watching.